In this video, we're going to take a look at the vegetation add-on for Blender, which has a large variety of different animated trees and animated bushes. Okay, so this is the add-on, and as you can see, it has quite a lot of assets, and each of these assets has uh, four different versions, one for each uh, season. So let's add the uh, summer tropical tree, for example, and then go into rendered view, and uh, hide the overlay. As you can see, the assets look quite good. And you can also randomize the uh, rotation and the look of the uh, different uh, trees. Next, I'm going to delete this palm tree and try another one for another season, and this time to the cursor, which is above the uh, grass. Let's add this one, for example, with the uh, spring season, which uh, changes the look of the palm tree. Now, because the tree is now added above the grass, instead of having to grab it to the ground, we can just uh, click the button snap tree to ground so that it automatically moves it down to the uh, grass, which uh, can save you a lot of time, especially with a lot of assets. And this add-on also enables us to animate the trees. So let's uh, add a uh, light breeze, for example. And a uh, light breeze will only animate the uh, leaves. Now, if we pause and go back to the uh, first frame, we can change the strength of the uh, wind animation. So let's uh, go to frame one and then set it to medium wind instead. As you can see, the uh, trunk is now animated as well. And we can of course also try out the uh, strong wind. And as you can see, it uh, moves a, a lot more when we use the uh, strong wind. You also have the option to uh, add some uh, custom presets and uh, you can randomize the rotation and look of this one as well. Okay, so next we can add a uh, maple tree. Let's uh, add a uh, spring tree. And then once again, I can snap the tree to the ground. And the uh, asset looks pretty great. So uh, let's delete this one. Press X to delete. And then uh, let's try out another one with uh, summer. And then we can randomize the look of the tree in case you want to uh, duplicate it. So uh, just with some duplications, you can very easily set up a uh, tiny forest. And you can of course also animate it. For uh, these larger trees, you need um, a bit more than a light breeze, unless you just want some uh, leaves blowing. So if you try uh, the medium wind, for example, you can see that it moves a bit more. And the uh, strong wind looks like this. With all the leaves, this is obviously quite a uh, heavy animation, so it's going to look a, a lot better when you see it in real time in the final render. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, different categories of uh, assets. So let's add a uh, path, for example. And I'm going to choose uh, this one. And then I'll move the uh, 3D cursor here and add the pot. And then snap it to the ground. And then I'm going to move the uh, 3D cursor to the top of the pot. And then I'm going to add an ornament plant on top of it, like this. And uh, this 
is uh, what it looks like in rendered view. So uh, quite nice. And we still have uh, two more categories that we uh, have not yet looked at. So we have the uh, shrubs. As you can see, quite a few. And we also have the uh, hedges. And the uh, last feature I'm going to show in uh, this video is the uh, node setup for the uh, assets, which is uh, quite interesting because you can actually animate the transition between different seasons, as you can see. So, uh, we can set the autumn value to uh, zero and then increase the winter value. So you can see what the uh, tree looks like in the winter. And we can of course set it to spring as well. In addition, you can edit values such as the uh, saturation of the assets and the uh, specular strength, the roughness value, and uh, so on, which can be quite useful. So uh, to summarize this video, this is an add-on with a lot of different assets, all that you can change the season for. You can also randomize the look, snap the tree to the ground, and animate the assets.